I would like to build a linear generator to use the power of my free piston engine and to make performance tests to improve it. For a linear generator you need magnets, coils and a movement of the two in relation to each other. As I want to make the whole thermoacoustic Stirling engine as easy to rebuild as possible, the linear generator will also be produced mainly with a 3D printer. The basic concept of a linear generator is very elegant, but if higher performance and efficiency are possible by relatively simple means, remains to be seen. I also tried a conventional slider crank gear, but found it complicated and not very elegant. The coil body should hold four coils of approximately 1000 windings each, which are connected in series. The magnets will later move through the inner diameter and the distance to the coils should be as small as possible. I print all parts in PETG, but will soon be trying carbon fiber reinforced technical filaments for highly stressed engine parts. The enameled copper wire is only 0.2 mm thin and I have to be very careful not to break it. The coil holder must align the coils at the correct distance and exactly centered to the piston rod with the magnets. Next time I will have to leave more space and bigger gaps here. Everything is very tight and difficult to align. The magnets are bolted to the piston rod with the exact spacing of the magnet width and the width and spacing of the coils also matches the width of the magnets to minimize phase cancellations in the series connection. This means that all four coils can be connected directly in series and then rectified. Perhaps it would be more effective to rectify each coil separately to avoid phase cancellation. What do you think? Overall, the production of the entire linear generator went very quickly. A few evenings in the workshop and I can start with the first tests. The generator works very satisfactorily and delivers up to 3 volts AC. It is still very underpowered and I probably won't be able to avoid using iron cores for higher values. I would be grateful for any suggestions on how to increase the electrical output significantly using relatively simple means. For accurate power measurements I need to complete the rest of the electronics such as rectification, smoothing and current and voltage measurement. I think a lot about how to make the electric linear generator more powerful. I already have stronger magnets and can wind larger coils but I don't think high performance is possible without the clever use of iron cores. These usually require a complicated and heavy coil and magnet construction which I would like to avoid. This leads to the next problem, the balancing of the ever larger and faster moving masses which can probably only be solved by the complex coupling of a counterweight running an antiphase or by a multi-cylinder engine. I'm grateful for any help from you and look forward to your suggestions and commands here on YouTube and on Discord. Thanks for watching.